all week long, when I've been talking to people here, uh, I've been struck by the fact that there are basically sort of two camps uh, about sort of Trump's particular consequence to the Republican Party. One camp says, maybe wistfully, maybe not, uh, it's a one-off event. You know, it's like lightning has struck our party. This is a, a particular campaign built around a personality, around, you know, it's all about him. And so, uh, good or bad, it's going to ebb away when Donald Trump is gone, whether that's after this election and losing, whether that's after his presidency. Then there's another camp that says, you people are crazy, basically. This is a seismic event. Uh, it's a civil war inside the Republican Party. It's, it's the blowing up of the established order. I'm curious where, where each of you falls down on that, because that's basically what we're talking about. Are we looking at sort of a very sort of uh, charismatic uh, figure taking over temporarily uh, an institution that he's fundamentally not a part of? Are we looking at a party that uh, is so divided against itself it can't stand? What do you think? Yeah, I actually think we're in a period of creative destruction that's even bigger than just yeah. a civil war within the party. I think the whole, both political parties are about to completely change, like every other institution in the United States, from the church to the newspapers. And so we're going through this big shift, and we're having these internecine wars within the Republican Party that are fairly irrelevant to the American public, who are worried about their jobs, their kids getting education, vulgarity in the culture, terrorism, a whole bunch of other stuff. And we're having this little uh, debate. So I actually think... Um, the two sides, if you would say there's a Cruz and a Trump side, uh, a white nationalist party, I think, which Trump is organizing and more of an evangelical uh, white party, southern party that Cruz is organizing, I don't think either have a chance to build the coalition necessary that we need to go into the future, particularly when you look at millennials who are interested in startups, they're interested in business, the free market, that used to be our stuff. And they're voting Democrat because they're black, gay, Jewish, Indian, and they're not buying into the, the, the racial and the social issues that have taken place in the Republican Party. So I think it's a whole new game, and I think we might be watching the funeral for the Republican Party at this convention. We'll look back in retrospect. People will keep doing the same thing, but I think there's an opportunity for a new center-right opening for whoever can capture it. 